Oh, it's these fucking weird looking gun things. Please. Pause. Nasty. I do like my fire attack. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty useful. It's a good thing everything's made of plants in this uh, zone. Yeah, I mean, if, imagine it was all made of like, I don't know, something resistance against fire water. Water. <laughs> good good deductive reasoning. It'd be funny, it would actually be. Can you jump down there now? Oh, you just knocked him. Uh, no, but I can knock some stuff down, apparently. It'd be funny if they did actually do that, though. Like, they introduced a, an ability and then they pick up against enemies that were resistant to it. Yeah. I mean, a lot of RPGs do that, as so. well. Yeah. You just unlock the ability to kill things instantly. But all of these enemies cannot be killed instantly. Cool, thanks. Welcome back, we're playing Scarlet Nexus and uh, we've just uh, had a look at the map and I think we were going to check the uh, skill tree as well, weren't we? We were indeed, I don't think this is how we get <clears> that's to not that. that. It looks like a map to me. I think it's this, brain map. Brain map. The brain map shows you what skills you have learned and allows you to learn new skills by using BP. Skills are split into categories. Some routes only have a single path to learn the entire skill set while other skill sets branch into adjacent categories. Nice. Jason so, categories. Jason categories. So it's a uh, sphere grid. Expand, enhance, support. Oh. Recover so, when knocked away and prevent being knocked down. Nice. That looks pretty good. Increases plug-in capacity at the equip screen by one. Which you've not used yet. And attack plus five percent increases damage for weapon attack. Well, well that's always nice. <clears throat> so either this or this. You Any have points. exactly one brain point, so choose wisely. Do you want something that enhances... Oh, okay. I was going to say, do you want something that enhances all of your attacks forever? Or do you want something that can only be used when you get knocked into the air? I mean, I've already enhanced my attack a wee bit by getting those weapons. A better weapon, so yeah, true. That was my deciding factor I on this see. occasion. You've, you've only gone and thunk it. I've also acquired a lolly. You have? got You've got a lollycopter right next to you, yeah. so... <clears throat> she sets things on fire. Amazing. She does. You volunteered and got into the OSF. Just like you always dreamed. Why? You were scouted. Why does it sound like they're talking to each other in a walkie-talkie when they're standing right next to each other? I have no idea. <coughs> it's the same reason that the guy next to me was texting me. Yeah, they, they just have they lack the social skills. Ah, I guess fast so. travel. Your map plug in, oh, baby. The person I'm standing next to. <clears throat> yeah, I guess your the loading screen changes depending on what party members you've got. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. Yeah. Like could cheaper. The deserted merchant city. Oh, there's a there's a way in and a way out. <clears throat> oh, a ladder. Oh, wow. Two boxes on top of each other. Oh my god. Oh, no ladder. Oh, two more boxes on top of each other. You're you're walking upstream. Police oh. lines. Oh, police lines. You just decided to walk through. So, fuck them, I guess. All right, bros. All right, bros. <coughs> So, so, we're all here. <clears throat> oh, it's Captain okay, Murakami, but... May I ask a question? No. You don't have to be so formal. We call each other by our first names in the OSF so we can strengthen our bonds. But no. Strengthen our bonds. To look our age. Ranks are there just to calculate pay. Oh, the nice. OSF only values Wait, because I'm young, I'm going to get less pay? That. Yep. Off. Give me more pay. Of it. So what was your question? Right. Are you um, stupid? Wataru isn't here yet. That's not question. Wataru is this platoon's <clears throat> operator. He'll direct us from headquarters. But what was your question? <laughs> power allows me to communicate telepathically without the system's assistance. Up to around 500 kilometers. That nice. being said, it's a lot of work. So join the group. Open your personal port. You stay oh, away no. from my personal port. This is the second time someone's been in my personal <clears throat> port. Yeah. Wataru Freezer. That's another non-Japanese word. <laughs> what? Each of you listen to Wataru's that orders and move ball. to the designated goal. <laughs> Try to take down so any others along the way. Smith. Retreat is allowed if you think you can't handle it, but reach your goal. That's all. Give me what these things. Understood. <laughs> okay. That's the first See thing. you later. Good luck. Okay, thanks. She looks so like Bob. So is Bob, yeah. Bob Bobson. Right, so. Oh, you've seen the brain message? Oh, hang on. <clears throat> I love those brain messages. Oh, fucking hell. Holy crap. Right, okay. Refrain from acting on your own. Always that is all, really. Partner. No replies necessary. <laughs> Reply. 
Uh, I'm looking forward to working with you as a fellow SF member. The light and the flames will be burned into your memory. Oh. I've taken far too long to reply to that one because she's not replyable anymore. Oh, was it replyable before? I think it was before I changed areas. Oh, okay. Something else. Well, because I wasn't given growth starting hormones until this age, we have a capable, charming man. You see, it's not about it all. Right, so... Oh, so the rest of them are kept at a young age, but this mm. guy was recruited older, so he looks older. Weird. Everyone's life is in my hands. Maybe that's overstating it, but no, that's how serious I'll take it. I look forward to working with you. Cool. Why has this one got an exclamation mark that I can't? Uh, I think that's the newest one you got. Uh, it's, oh, it's gone. It's gone. Potato's gone. Potato's gone. The nice. Split up, but you can use brain talk to share information. Brain, brain talk. talk. Why is oh. everything got brains in it? Oh, it's some rough rough Sass. A brain to brain connection with virtual cable that allows you to temporarily use allies' powers. Nice. Sass menu is displayed in the lower right of the screen. During battle, pressing R1 and circle X, triangle, square at the same time, or just no, I get individually. We'll activate Sass into each Yeah, so slot. it's basically like secondary abilities you can use. Each power effect lasts for a limited time. When the gauge reaches zero, the effect will stop. You can st you can stop the effect yourself with the same thing. Uh, R1 and R3. R1, R3, or the button that you used to start it. Each power recovers at a different rate. Uh, but once it does, you can use it again. Okay, sounds cool. good. Should we give that a try after? We... Oh my god! By borrowing pyrokinesis flames and gulf weapons and PK objects for the attack, the weapon combos will have an increased area, it increases damage to the enemy, and it also causes burn status. Cool. PK fire. Uh, additional effects will be added as you strengthen your bond with Hanabi. Okay. It's effective against enemies with oiled status. Mm. Shield pull. At least it's not a. Uh... Pyrokinesis. Ah, oh, sweet. Burn will be applied. Use square and a weapon combo to increase the area of effect. So, she's useful against plants, of course. Which is handy because that's what we're fighting. Yeah. It's almost as if they planned that in the development of this game. The enemy dropped something. I know, I can see it. It's literally blown out it's, of the ground. Yeah, it's like got a big fucking marker on it. Ah, oh, trolleys. Ah, oh, it's these fucking weird looking plant things. Please. Pause. I do like my fire attack. Yeah, pretty cool. It's pretty useful. It's a good thing everything's made of plants in this uh, zone. Yeah, I mean, if imagine it was all made of like, I don't know, something resistance against fire or water. Water. <laughs> good, good deductive reasoning. It'd be funny, it would actually be. Can you jump down there now? Oh, you just knocked some. Uh, no, but I can knock some stuff down apparently. It'd be funny if they did actually do that though, like, they introduced a, an ability and then they pick up against enemies that were resistant to it. Yeah. I mean, a lot of RPGs do that, so... Yeah. You just unlock the ability to kill things instantly, but all of these enemies cannot be killed instantly. Cool, thanks. I mean, usually Final Fantasy games in general, like, give you death, but you can't use it on most things. So. Yeah, most things can't be killed with death, and then the things that you can kill with death, you can kill with one hit anyway, so, like, what's the fucking point? Yeah. But that was what was cool about Yojimbo in Final Fantasy X, was like, he was instant kill for almost every boss. It oh, just within as well. Uh, yeah. And, uh, well, can you actually do that for bosses, isn't it? Um, no, not, not generally. Um, but there's a boss that he, well, I can't, did you finish it? Yeah. Yeah, so you've got, like, um, obviously, see her when he just approaches and... Oh, you're approaching me! Yeah, right. She's actually more useful than uh, Nagi. Yeah, Nagi was. I feel sure. bad for uh, whoever's partnered up with Nagi. Oh, yeah. They both turn up dead. Ah, but that was the thing. Final Fantasy X, like, if, as long as you had enough money, you could pay your jumbo to instantly kill pretty much any enemy. Uh, was, it, was it not a point though, like depending on how you bargained with them, like you could pay them less to do that? Yes. Uh, if you, you had you had to before when you unlocked him, you had to do it in a certain way to get him as cheap as possible, and that way he would be at a maximum, um, like, a like affinity nearby. to you, or like as good as as good as you could get at that point in the game. Yeah. And like because like, that, I think there was there were hidden stats in Final Fantasy X that had like affinities. And your jumbo was uh, was affected by that, where the higher affinity he had for you, the less he uh, charged for instant kill. And um, but apparently, like you doing things like using his Diego, like the dog attack, would actually reduce 
his affinity for you. Really? If he didn't like to use the dog attack. Yeah, so if you didn't pay him enough, he would use the dog. Uh -huh. And if he used the dog, his affinity would go down, so that way all of his other abilities would cost more. So he was quite an interesting, uh, quite an interesting summon. I'm, I'm missing something here. Uh, no, there's a big marker on the map that you're supposed to go yeah, towards. Yeah, I've been, I've been going to that, but there's no obvious way down unless I'm tripping, tripping balls. Maybe you are tripping balls. Which way did you come we from? Go back down here because this is where. See, there's arrows going away from here, but there's one going towards it as well. I think those are just. Can you jump down there or no? No. Nope. Um, those arrows are just. They're part of the, the, like, the world, I think. I don't think they're actually showing you where to go. Hmm. Oh, I could be wrong. Oh, it's down there. Is it not down the stairs? No. Maybe it's up here. Or is it up the stairs? Oh, yeah, it doesn't appear, it doesn't appear like you've been here yet, so. Oh, shops and somewhere to save. Sweet. Oh, pieces? Oh, my so, God. Some kind of, oh, no, it's trees. It's just trees, I think. Oh, you can go into that car park. Right in here? Yeah. There you go. Enemas! Uh, special object attack. L2 to consume the PK, uh, PK gauge and attack with special objects. Okay, um, let's give that a go then. I think PK stands for Psychokinetic. I didn't, I didn't realise what it was. Oh, nice. Oh, sweet, you can clunk them. Uh, just clunk them. You can clunk them, dude. Thank you Thanks for noticing. Give you some weird, fun, funny things with these weird enemies. Yes, look at that. You did it. You taunt them. Get those base paws. Those fucking ugly looking. Oh, Jesus. Clonk them. There's been no explanation as to why these things are here. Or like what they are. I'm hoping, it'll tell, I'm hoping it'll tell me eventually, but. Yeah. So the enemies have weaknesses, oh, that's what it's like. For the enemies protecting each weak point with an outer shell, you need to destroy it first. This one doesn't have an outer shell. It's just a ram. Oh, it's a weather sabot. I can't remember if it was a kind of sabot we were fighting last time. I think it was the same. Was it? Sabot, is that a type of goat, I guess, or a sheep? It certainly is in this game. Sabat. I've never, uh, I've never heard of that before. Uh, the only time I've ever heard Sabat is uh, Christopher Sabat, who's the voice of Vegeta in Dragon Ball Z. Oh yeah, he passed away, I think. No. Oh no, it's, uh, it's Freeze's voice that passed away, I think. Yeah. Oh, I'm being, I'm being Sabated. Do you want a sabbatical? I guess so. I'm looking up Sabat, but um, the first thing that comes up is Sabbath. Uh, then there's Sabbat, which is an English band, thrash metal band. Uh, it's also a Wiccan festival, so it's got nothing to do with Rams. Oh wait, Wiccan? Maybe it's uh, maybe it's to do with like you know demonic things. Yeah, you, you clunk that shit. Yeah, it's clunked to death. Oh, there's a green thing in the corner. Yeah, I think I seen that, and then I was like, oh, I'll get that after the fight. But... All right, you think you can jump over that fence or something? Or walk through the. Or maybe you can't get to it yet. Yeah, I can't get to it yet. Well. Shit. Am I supposed to. I don't think so. I think. No, the arrows and stuff are just confusing. They're, they're, they're sort of. I think you need to go up the stairs. Yeah, I think maybe you're right. The arrows are like. It's like a futuristic world where it shows you which direction to walk in. Because mm. yeah, in, in Japan. People walk on the left. Well, in many cities in Japan, they walk on the left. Some, some of them, they walk on the right. But like, they do that in the street. They'll actually like people will walk down the street and the left hand side, and then the other people that are walking the opposite direction, they'll obviously be on the left, so that you can pass by each other. It's very like organized. Makes sense though. It does. You see, like if you're in Glasgow, yeah, and you try and walk in one side, there's just people coming towards you all the time. You're constantly swimming upstream like a salmon. And sometimes people just make a beeline for you, like, yeah. you're not walking anywhere near them and they just walk directly towards you, you can quite clearly in a see diagonal you. lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People are the worst. And then they walk in front of you and then they look at you as if it was your fault. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, why didn't you get out of my way? Well, because I'm walking here! I'm walking here! Oh, we're missing a story here. Oh, he has parents? Hmm. I don't care about the teachings at all. Priest? What? He's a priest. His parents were believers, so he became a priest even though he doesn't believe in it. 
that makes sense. That's how religions keep keep perspiring. Perspiring. Yeah, if people who don't persistent. believe in it start. Yeah. What's the if people don't believe in it, just do it because. Oh, what's that one, Benny? It's the uh, the, lo the lollicopters, yeah. Look alive, everyone. Look Gross. alive, son. Gross. Guys, the crows will make a big deal out of this. <laughs> Let's make it exciting. Oh my god. We don't even know what we're doing here. Yeah, like I'm, I'm literally just walking a bit. Yeah. They're pretty, but kind of scary. Pretty scary. Oh, what are these? Scummy Pendu again? Scummy Pendu. What's a Pendu? What is a Pendu, Marky? I guess it rates shit. Aye. It rates shit. Check that bike. I want to get it, so I've not walked on. Have this. Yeah. That scummy Pendu didn't see that bike coming, that's for sure. It certainly didn't. It certainly didn't. It didn't pen do. It did not pen do. It pen don't. Pen don't. What does that pen do? It gets hit by a bike. Fuck's sake. So my balls. So my balls. Oh. Well, speaking of balls, it's uh. Oh wow, explosive barrel. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, you fucked yeah, I fucked it. it. You fucked that good. We're uh, we're almost at the end. Of, well, we are kind of at the end of the episode, so you wrap up. Wrap up these bitches. Uh, neat little bow. Seems like. I hope we're gonna get some kind of conclusion, but I guess we're not quite there yet. I didn't hold it in. But you did not hold it in. You just let it go at the worst possible time. I don't think there's another one for me to use. No. You just have to chuck shit at it. Kill it with a sword. You have a sword. Oh, I was gonna say you have an axe as well. But that was one of the other games we were playing today. <laughs> I do, I do think this is really, this is nice to play, to be fair. Yeah. It does look quite satisfying. I mean, the, the kine kinetic uh, abilities and stuff as well, looks like it's quite fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Right guys, thanks for watching, that was Scarlet Nexus. If you want to see any more, that was a really cool way to put a sword <laughs> away. Um, let us know in the comments, but for now we'll catch you next time for something else. Goodbye.